Uh, Clay Hems here, midweek update. Um, just gonna dive right in. We talked about AMD, uh, talked about the likelihood that Monday we would end up finding support around this 30 minute long term, pushing up to test some of these lower, so 15 minute, 10 minute, um, some of these lower long term lines here ultimately rejecting at those lines and then continuing downhill um, talked about the ping pong effect how we expected we're going to drop to some of these bounce back up ping pong through here do do do, do 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 once we break the six hour next thing was the volume shelves same thing and then ultimately waiting for the eight hour 10 hour 12 hour long term which you can see we are still pretty close to that same um what is that 10125 10125 10125 10121 um right there so that is still a very key key place for me um you can see 8 hour we're cooling off on the RSI uh some of these lower time frames 4 hour 3 hour 2 hour you can see we're cooling off i mean even the 2 hour here or what was that the 3 hour this is kind of what I'm looking for. We have support building here in that same time frame. That's a decent drop. So that tells me maybe a little bit more and then rip back up, probably end up retesting the same long terms, just that ultimate ping pong back and forth till we come back down to the daily sooner than later. But as it sits, I'm still expecting um, same thing we talked about. Maybe in the morning, a little bit of upside, kind of cool off some of this. Probably end up retesting 101.25. Um, AMD played out almost to a T how we said. Um, Wednesday, we said we I expected it would test, and we came within within 50 cents. Uh, that's not too, not too shabby. So... When we check out the exposure over here, if you recall, we had pretty heavy exposure up to the 115. Um, we still have 110, 107, 105, 105, 106. But overall, 106, not 105, we're leading net, uh, net negative exposure. So this is kind of telling me <clears throat> same thing that we just talked about. Look for that downside. Look for that you know around 100 101 look for a pop at 101 well pop at 101 is going to match what we're expecting here so the game plan hasn't changed for me on amd watch for the continued downside uh, i'm probably going to play along off of this uh, 101 25 how long i don't know um it'll depend on what we're seeing here but that's kind of what i'm expecting for amd so meta, we talked about uh, finding support on the 30 minute, um, how expected we're going to get some upside, likely end up retesting. I don't remember what my retest area was. I think it was the same thing. The 10 minute, 15 minute, these lower term, long terms, ultimately come back in and start rejecting back down. That's, that's what we're getting here. Um, as far as the exposure on meta, we're still heavy positive net exposure so i'm kind of thinking i actually mentioned you know going long on this uh swinging along yesterday or today um so i'm thinking the same thing that we talked about i'm thinking we're on that 30 minute again if you check down here we have decent um what i look for as divergence um, tells me that we're gonna we're gonna bounce right here as far as how hard how much I'm not sure it looks like if we take volume shelf into account kind of bouncing off of this volume shelf here um, so 321 a potential target break through it 325 potentially um, exposure is telling us 325 is definitely on the table so that's what I'm still watching for on this one. Um, I'm still watching to see if we get continued upside here. As far as RSI, 
same thing. We're on most of the time frames. We're looking like we're going to get ready for that bounce. Um, so nothing's really changed on Meta. Same thing as what we talked about. Early week drop off, maybe end of week, get that bounce coming in. Tesla. I was wrong on Tesla. Um, I expected to, to get some upside going into earnings. And I mean, technically, technically, I wasn't wrong. We did. I mean, that's a $6 move, um, $8 move ultimately from our, our, win, our weekend video. Yeah, I don't do earnings. Uh, this is part of why. Um, I think what I said was that exposure at the time was leaning towards... 275 or 230 and we had <laughs> fucking low 230 um you can't make that shit up and it looks like it bounced off of that 232 sure as shit it hit 230 and it kind of started to bounce um so we'll see what happens with Tesla. Uh, I I didn't pay attention to earnings. I, I didn't pay attention to their talk. It looks like they missed. Um, big whoop. Could rally tomorrow. You know, who fucking knows? Um, I'm not guessing anything on Tesla, to be completely honest. Google had the pop. Uh, what did I say? I think 140 is what I talked about on Google. We ultimately did hit 140. Once we did hit that goal, um, kind of started to reject back down off of it exposure currently at 140 is still pretty heavy so i'm thinking we're gonna pop back up into this volume shelf right here um you can see we're bouncing on the 30 minute rsi saying we might have a little bit to go um, same with some of these lower time frames saying we might have a little bit you know, pre-market maybe boom come back down and then it open kind of rip um going into the day pretty much get the dip out early and then kind of rip is what i'm thinking on this one but i think google is going to push back to 140 by end of the week um as far as our long terms we still have i mean the two hour down at 133 one hour 136 you see we haven't tested it in a while and when we do we get decent reactions so Definite things I'm watching for here. LLY has kind of just said, eh. So I did mention we could get this wick filled, you know, going back to what was that, 629. We did not go that high, but we did push 621. I still think downside on this. I still think we're going to ultimately push. It looks like we have earnings coming up. Um, so maybe this is going to be a downside on earnings type play. I don't know. Um, but this one I'm still leaning towards. We're going to get continued downside overall. Um, you can even see some of the longer term, six hour, four hour hour we're crossing over generally when you get these crossovers you get a decent play off of them i mean there's the occasional i don't think that's what's going to happen here i think it's going to be more of something like this personally so i'm going to keep watching lly to the downside on this one and then the final one that we talked about was Amazon. I don't exactly remember what I said about Amazon, to be completely honest. I think it was damn near the same as the rest of them. We're going to get that bounce on the 30 minute going in Monday, Tuesday, um, Monday, Tuesday. Look at that. We got those bounces. Wednesday sell off. Hey, look, Wednesday sell off. Fucking A, man. Um, as far as what we got coming up, you can see RSI, we get the our bullish divergence popping on the one hour, 30 minute, you can see it popped here. We got a little bit of a move. So it, it's kind of going to depend here. Um, I think on this one, broke through the one hour, we broke through the two hour, we broke through the three, we just broke through the four and it's looking like we want to retest. Kind of what I'm looking at here is this candle started at the base of this so we have this wick off here we didn't start down in the wick we didn't start below the base and then kind of work back up we started above that wick right at the base and then pushed back up i think we're going to continue that push up i think we're going to push and ultimately come back up here 129.65 um uh, 129.88 
13141 kind of what I would put as a max based off what I'm looking at here. We have the 6 hour down here at 126. Like I said, we broke through the 3 hour, broke through the 2 hour. Same with the 1. I'm not going to mark it cuz it's all right here. Um 30 minute. So yeah, I'm thinking we're going to get this bounce in here. I think we're going to come back and we're going to now retest this group of long-term trends here probably reject off of that and then come back down and retest the six hour when we check out amazon's net 125 we're still heavy net exposure and last week amd had something similar B -b 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 boom all i mean even positive even more than these candles here it was all like this and then a couple big ones and then one outlier fucking like this i'm thinking we're, we're blowing up no all of this shit got screwed it went to that outlier. Well, that outlier matches our six hours still. So that tells me we're still going to come down and test this before the end of the week. It's just a matter of, are we going to get this pop come in, probably hit the volume shelf, reject down to the six hour, and then get a massive rip off of it up to these ones? Or are we going to come up, retest these first, and then rip or dip off of these down to the six hour? Personally, with how this is saying as high as 135, and that's way above what i'm looking at i mean that's that's close to the week's high back here last week's high that tells me we're gonna come probably a little bit in the morning in the pre-market then push up to this volume shelf dip at this volume shelf down to the six hour once we get to the six hour we're gonna end up just blowing up right to these um, by Friday. That's what I'm expecting. Depending on what happens at this level, maybe a little bit of, you know, that type of action and then rip up to that 135 that they're talking. That's still even doable in Friday based off of kind of what I'm looking at here. But I'm leaning more towards this than I am a first thing in the morning coming up retest then down then this model i just i don't think it's going to be this one i think it's going to be this so that's everything i got right now we will touch base on this at the end of the week see what we what we ended up at um, all data provided by quaint data trading view um, all the indicators are my own personal indicators. All the links are down below. Make sure to like and subscribe. I appreciate y'all's time. Um, hell, if you, you know, get the information out, um, share this. It helps as well. So everybody have a good week, and we'll see at the end of the week how it looks.